Hey, hello YouTube. I'm Karan from India, and in this video, we're going to compare the mouse hover test with plugins. That which one is faster and efficient to use in your patch programs. So let me show you all three plugins that they are CMD ways get input and input. I have changed these files a bit to make it possible for testing out which plugin is much faster as you can see that instead of moving the dot with the mouse it is going to print like paint and it is printing things on the console so we will check out for a standard speed how much dots they can put on the console so I have created these this file automate mouse so we are going to automate our mouse input to for a particular speed for checking out which plugin is fast enough so let me start these plugins and set them in proper position i'm going to start automate script need to put the mouse here and leave the mouse and as you can see mouse is automatically moving and now if i want to check that how many dots are there then you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 dots so this test cmd.exe printed 18 dots for the for the speed of the mouse let's check the same thing with input.exe and as you can see input.exe can also detect the mouse and keyboard so i need to click on here and press space then i have to go back to the center position let's see how many dots it can print and now we have to count again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 and as you can see it has also printed 18 dots on the console window for the same mouse speed although this test is not applicable on get input because it is a special kind of patch plugin and it is the most efficient of all three i must say you should use this plugin but the usage is quite complex and you have to design each position of the console according to the plugin so most of the cases you will use these two plugins instead of cmd in get input so but get input has its own advantages over these two plugins so i have created a table here for the saving the time so these are the parameters on which we are going to compare these plugins and this is the these are the name of the plugins so input.exe the size of input.exe is 1.26 mbs while on the other hand cmd is of only 74.3 i think of kbs let me cross check once uh, 74.3 kbs and on the other hand cm get input is winning with 3.5 kbs of file size while cpu usage for input.exe was 80 percent as we have seen in the last video and for the same device it was around 80 percent also so let me write the right figure 79 percent the maximum cpu usage we are writing so get input only got to 35 percent the 35 percent is due to the fact that my screen recorder software is also using cpu so that's why it is 35 percent and the ram of the three plugins i have recorded is 1120 kbs each for all of the three plugins and the usage for easily usage the input.exe has the right criteria because input.exe is following the standards for batch program while cmd it's difficult to use cmd with and get input in your batch programs because of their complex nature of the output you need to understand their nature first and then 
you can use them in your program so i'm going to give them no for the easy usage on the other hand speed of the input.dxc is same as that of the cmd plugin as we have noted both have printed 18 dots in the same with the same speed of mouse while get input is the most efficient of all three so i will write here fastest plugin for the mouse hovering while on the other hand input.dxc can only take two types of arguments either to use mouse hatch over or not on the other hand cmd is 39 in one plugin you can use 39 outputs or 39 type of work with the cmd is instead of mouse hovering effect also so while on the other hand get input can only do one thing that is getting the mouse input or mouse and keyboard input at the same time practically useful input.dx is yes practically useful and cmd is also on the other hand these three are practically useful not control y it's shift y for so if i have to count the votes which plugin has the maximum points so here you can see that get input has minimum file size so it will get one point and let me write here one oh okay we will add them at the end and for the most for the least cpu usage it has got another point so two points ram the ram usage for all the plugins is same so no point to anyone and here input.exe has one point so let me write here one zero still and two points while on the other hand the speed of the plugins are same same and fastest so it will get another point the number of arguments can also be a parameter to select the plugin because 39 in 1 is a good number because you this plugin can replace 39 plugins and you can use it in your patch program if you want to get all 39 done so let's check the practically useful last parameter as all have got the yyy so this point cancel out to be zero and the result we have got that input.exe has got one point cmdvs has one point but get input has three points so cm get input is the most efficient and simple not simple but it is the most efficient plugin to use but input.exe is most simple plugin to use and cmd viz has its own benefits and limitations i hope you like this tutorial if you want to add any point or try to contradict my points please comment in the comment field below subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you for watching bye bye